I'm The Voice, and this is a Divi community-produced video from the foundation. Okay, so let's talk about the DAO, because DAO at the center good, yeah. of this effort will be the DAO. So again, I'll refer to you the articles that have been posted on the blog. I really recommend that you read them if you didn't. Yeah. But basically, we go in detail about the place that the foundation is going to take next, the place of the DAO moving forward, the financial situation, the opportunities. We basically go in depth into that. And it's not the last time we'll talk about it. The DAO will become really a central point on how a big part of the things that are done by the foundation move forward. I like to call it proto DAO, and that sounds dismissive. It's not a dismissive statement. The proto DAO is just the beginning of what will eventually be the future of the DAO. So this DAO is important for you to participate in. When I say proto, it may just be how it operates, or maybe it's the, the, the technology behind it. That doesn't matter. This is about your governance and participation. I can't stress any more then read the blog articles that Neeks just mentioned. And Rob had a big hand in writing. Read those articles, understand it, see how you can get involved and drive. Even if you're not building it, help someone else build something on it. Participate in that DAO. Your voice is, a, is so important, I can't even give a, a measurement to it. Everybody's important in you the community. You were saying proto-DAO. That is because the DAO is not, is not built yet. Right. Uh, we actually have a pretty ambitious idea of the, the final form we want the DAO to take. And Rob has been an amazing leader in getting this thing forward. And maybe Rob, you can, you can tell us a little bit more yeah, totally. about the kind of things that we want to have and what you went through to try to find a model and, and the current effort that is, that is ongoing. Yeah. So I'll start in the beginning, which is about a year ago, which was Nick and some others said, Hey, you know, we should have a DAO. Um, and it's true. We should have had one since the beginning. I wish we did, but it was very simple to begin with, but we really wanted a way for users and community members to have effect, even a year ago, a direct effect on, on direction that the DAO takes. So, yeah. you know, I just did, there's some tools out there that are available for everybody for voting and so forth. And I kind of just strung together Discord plus uh, this thing called Snapshot, plus the fact that we had made an Ethereum token representing Divi so I could use the voting mechanisms that were on Ethereum. But, it, you know, it's clunky. I think one of our one of our community members banked me on one of the uh, spaces that we had, and he was totally right. It's just like getting from nothing to participating in the DAO is a nightmare. I, I wrote an article to do it and really want people to participate in it. But the friction to get from here to there is way too high. And that's why voice calls it a proto DAO. The other reason I think it's a proto DAO is that I'm the only, I'm taking suggestions from people to put up to vote and so forth. So I am either intentionally or unintentionally acting as a filter there. And when something goes, I'm the one who does it. Like there's no, there's no decentralization in our DAO. So it's just a prototype. Moving from there, though, and the, the, that, the vote that went up last was really, let's level it up. Let's make it so it uses Divi. It doesn't require Ethereum. It's kind of one bot for everything, and it's easy to get into and out of. Once we have that, then we can get to a place where the decentralization is happening. You guys are using your vault to qualify to be in the DAO. Then once you have that, then it's autonomous. You guys can propose whatever they want. You know, the community can propose whatever they want. They can vote on each other, tell each other this is an awesome idea or a terrible idea, whatever. All of the goodness of the DAO can happen once we have that. But uh, I got to get it built and I got to get it funded. Those are the, that's what's happening now. So that's the big thing is that when I, I don't needle it, I don't nitpick it. I think you nitpick it more because of course you have a vision for what the community can really have. Um, this DAO is still a learning journey. If you can learn this DAO, if you can understand this DAO, if you can teach this DAO, if you understand the um, intricacies of this DAO, Divi's DAO is going to be smooth sailing. You're still going to have some curves. It will still be made crypto made easier, right? When we finally get there, but that's still going to be a journey. That's not a goal. That's still a philosophy. So learn this now. And that centralized aspect is how it's hosted or how it's stored. It's not your votes. 
it's still a distributed, decentralized community that's coming together that's voting. It's where it's managed that may be centralized. So don't let those two terms confuse you. The ultimate goal for us is to have a complete infrastructure in a decentralized way, which is what Rob is talking about for the future. Your vote has value. Don't miss out on voting. Don't miss out on participating in the DAO. Get into the DAO, learn the DAO, and teach somebody else. There's one more thing that is important about DAOs is that um, they're supposed to change. Yeah. Like a static DAO is death. And so we're going to implement the governance methods that we voted on last summer. And it's highly likely it'll be wrong. It's our first shot. And I like the qualification methods we have. But we put in quorum ideas and we put in a bunch of other stuff that may make it impossible to move forward. I don't know. Maybe they're right. Uh, but having a DAO allows you to change the DAO, change the rules of it, change the way it looks, as long as people are willing to do it. So even when we get this first one up, which I think will be a breath of fresh air uh, and really invite a lot of people to get in on it, you can change the, not just propose things that you want to go do with Divi, but you can actually change the DAO itself. Uh, so it should be yes. a living, breathing kind of uh, application for, for Divi, which I, I really like about it. Yes. Yes. Yeah, that's really that's really critical to be able to offer for the community some place, some place on the table to take decisions moving forward. There is actually a, a current effort to be able to have an alpha website. So obviously we will be far away from the final product, but it would already be better than it is now. It would already be easier than it currently is. Yeah, it won't require Ethereum. It may not be the look and feel. It may not have all the things, all the governance aspects that we put in it. But it'll be it'll be with Divi. To, to it'll start be with Divi. Yeah, <laughs> that's really nice. Well, everything the foundation, everything we as a community should want, should be focused on building on utilizing the features and functions, or creating new features and functions that we want to see that benefits everyone in the blockchain that's supporting the blockchain. It should always be focusing on Divi native blockchain first, and then of course, extending out everywhere on other chains after, mm -hmm. but Divi should be our ultimate focus for everything. Uh, totally agree. So this alpha website is currently open for raising funds. There is an address, it's $5,000. Maybe you can give us more detail about it. Oh, Rob. sure. Um, the $5,000 will get us from here to there for that site. I can actually start working on it with, with less so we can get the first review of it for everybody, see how they like it, move forward. That $5,000 is what is going to get, get to the end. Um, it'll, it'll be in a couple phases, you know, you, right now, um, it'll be, it'll include the, like the first phase will include things like the voting, which is the most important. But the effort tracking might be later. The quorum, the uh, out of the governance, the NFT parts, which is important, it's critical. Um, that's how we're validating people who can propose and vote. That might come in later. Um, but just getting a replacement for snapshot would be a huge win because that gets us off Ethereum. So it, it comes in. It'll be a process. I'll probably document the whole process once. And so people. Go ahead. Sorry to interrupt you. So people could make proposals. They wouldn't have to go through you, right? Um, I don't think we can do that until the NFT part is in there. Um, so the, that, that, okay. that's the part that makes it unspammable. So that's the part I'm worried about. That's why the NFTs are important. So we had a long conversation about who qualifies. We don't want it spammed with nonsense, but we want everybody to get in on it in one respect or another. And it was really owning a, a, a staking vault, which is what came out to be the best way to kind of serve access, uh, but also prevent the spamming. And for that part to get in, that's when anybody can get in on it. The first phase will just have, do you own Divi? And then, it, but it'll still act the way we have, but you don't need to do the, the transfer, the expensive transfer uh, to getting uh, e you know, uh, Ethereum Divi. Uh, and do the whole thing on a different platform and so forth. So it'll it'll be a lot better, but it won't have all the governance. That's already a great step. So please, guys, uh, take a look at the article. We'll post an article on the blog. You will be able to read some details about this offering. Please help us get through that and get this website soon so that we can we can move forward with the DAO. Great.